If you're one of the lucky few who watched this channel, you may recall I've been having some issues with my Rat Rig V Core 3. Just problem after problem. 3D printers are hardworking machines, and machines need maintenance. Maybe it was time to start replacing things. And that's when I saw it. A video posted a whole year ago announcing a release of a new tool head especially for rat rig printers. The new hotness has a metal skeleton and tighter geometry. I need it. It will be mine. Oh yes, it will be mine. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm upgrading my 3D printer's tool head from the EVA platform to the rat rig V1 tool head. The EVA system was great. It's capable and incredibly flexible for whatever components you use, but it was also 3D printed. After hundreds of hours of high temperature printing, it was time for a refresh. This will be more than just a simple swap. I'm self-sourcing all the hardware, milling my own aluminum plate and combining mods from the community to incorporate remote cooling and even a filament cutter. I'm trying to get the most functionality without having to upgrade the motion system of my oldie but goodie V-Core 3. Because really, I just want to get back to printing so I can keep up with all these projects. Let's jump in. The biggest snag are my requirements. I have a V-Core 3, want to use CPAP for my part cooling, and want to add a filament cutter and sensor at the tool head for potential future upgrades. I'm looking at you, Box Turtle. Anyway, after some quick searches, I found all the models I needed. Just had to do a little surgery to join the CPAP tube. It was designed for the V-Core 4, which has a slightly different belt position. Once that was done, I was ready to start gathering materials and producing parts. I used Bolt Depot for all the hardware. They have everything and the prices were great. This is not sponsored, but if you've ever bought a $10 box of 500 screws on Amazon and you only needed 25 of them, you know why I have to give these guys a shout out. It's just nice to be able to get a single grub screw, if you only need one, and have it delivered cheap and fast. Shout out Bolt Depot. I started off with the aluminum plate. The Rat Rig store offers a kit, but I'm on a budget so I'm milling the metal plate myself on the Shapeoko 3. Nothing fancy, just what I could manage in the shop, but it turned out great. Because the Shapeoko has a hard time with deflection and accuracy when cutting hard materials, I chose to just mark where the holes should go with a V-bit, and then drilled them later, with the extra help of a 3D printed jig using the drill press. I also added chamfers to countersink the screw heads, once that was done, it got a quick coat of spray paint. Next up, I 3D printed all the necessary components for the tool head. I used ABS for heat resistance and durability. This was my first time printing ABS on my Bamboo Labs A1, and I couldn't be happier with the results. That little A1 has been no fuss and all quality prints since I got it. Handles every filament I've tried, including carbon fiber infused PETG. Anyway, as you can see here, the parts came out great. To give everything a tight solid fit, I added threaded inserts wherever I could. Way better than relying on plastic threads or captured nuts. I do some preliminary assembly of the parts to make sure they fit and everything works. Like I mentioned earlier, I also added a filament cutter mod. This isn't standard on the rat rig tool head, but I wanted the ability to cut filament cleanly when changing materials. You'll see how the filament cutter is going to work here. Looks like it needs a small adjustment, but this should be great for changing filaments reliably, something I've struggled with in the past. So this is my current setup. It's an entire coat closet, and the printer barely fits. We've got lights for visibility, filament storage up top, wall organization for all my tools, and the printer on the floor. 500 
cubic millimeters of print volume. It is an absolute unit. The screen really doesn't do justice to its size. So heads up for anyone out there who's looking into going big like this. Aside from losing an entire closet in my house, it's been great. And I've really missed using this printer while it's been on the fritz. I think the new tool head is going to be just what the doctor ordered and will pave the way for future add-ons. And here's where things get exciting. The old EVA tool head comes off and the new RatRig V1 tool head goes on. I mounted the Rapido UHF hot end directly to the new carriage and then installed the Orbiter V2 extruder and wired up the filament sensor. The wiring was straightforward, except for the motor. The new LDO pancake motor has a different kind of connector than the previous NEMA 17, and different colored wires. It took a few minutes of googling to get sorted, which colors corresponded to which signal, in order to plug things in right. All right, moment of truth. Got everything connected. Hopefully it works. Uh, configuration set. Tested all the wiring, uh, so that should be good. We tested the extruder motor. Seemed to be working. Uh, Thermistor is hot and everything else. So uh, just time to test, see if this filament uh, run out sensor is working as it should. Boys, sellers do one handed. And All right, turned green. <clears throat> Let's see if there's anything unknown command. Okay. 
nothing's happening. So <laughs> let's go take a look at the console and see what we got. With the hardware set, I moved on to configuration. I'm running Clipper, so I updated the extruders and made sure everything played nicely with the new hardware. If you're curious about the firmware side, let me know in the comments. Because I'm not using the latest version of RAT OS, my setup might not be the same. Now for the real test, its first print. I'm using my normal PLA Plus profile for a calibration dragon. 0.3 millimeter layer height, 0.6 millimeter nozzle. Wow. A bit of stringiness, I might need to calibrate retractions or dry the filament a bit, but this is definitely a solid start. That's just gorgeous. So that's the full upgrade, from EVA to the RATRIG V1 toolhead, with a Rapido UHF, Orbiter V2 extruder and filament sensor, beacon surface scanner, and some custom mods, links to which can be found in the description below. Everything's working great, and I'm already seeing better consistency in prints. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.